from the BIP perspective, uh, we see it simply as having a, having a clear vision and then you know, the strategy is to plan to actually achieve that vision. So for us, the vision is to be a global market leader in, in, in our field. Um, and the strategy is really the, the plan and the steps and the milestones we have along the journey to, to actually achieve that vision. For us, it's, it's that kind of approach. Yeah, we want a vision that is always going to be a, a stretch and a challenge, but something that we can point the company towards. And the strategy really sits behind that. And it's something that hopefully everybody in the, in the organisation can understand and buy into and understand what their role is in, in that strategy and the part that they play. Well, I'm not sure if there was a, a specific date and time that you could go back to, but uh, I think um, when the company moved to Park House, which was the premises that we were in before we moved here to, to Medius, I think there was a realisation then that the company had got larger and it had the capacity to get larger still. Um, and it wasn't constrained in the way it had been in the, in the office that, that it was in previously. And we've got you know, 100 people here now. You know, they need a sense of direction and purpose and clarity, um, which you won't get without a strategy. So I think that was, the, that was probably the turning point. And I think also we're at a point with a business where you know, we had a whole string of offerings. Um, yeah, it wasn't just a simple matter of you know, one suite of products or another. There was a whole range of services and you know, different things that we were doing in the market. So I think at that point you need to start thinking, well, you know, what is the strategy here? You know, how do we decide what we're going to invest in, which direction we're going in, and how we're actually going to achieve it? Setting the vision is the, is the most important thing, I think. You know, understanding what your aspiration really is. It's important to have a strategy that's grounded in reality you know it, it's challenging but it's it's not based on you know, fanciful figures or things that are you know, unrealistic in terms of your ability to, to achieve them the other aspect that's maybe slightly less tangible is about the actual values of the organization the vision is about where do we want to be and the, the strategy is about how are we going to get there then the values about well what sort of company do we want to be you know how do we want to achieve these things and at BIP, we've spent a lot of time defining what our values are and making sure that those are values that are consistent with our strategic aims. I think th the important thing is the vision doesn't change. That's the long-term view. In terms of the strategy, I think you know, our, our view is, well, the strategy can change and quite often it should change because we're living in a marketplace that's you know, that's volatile and, and, and change is happening every day. So we shouldn't be so dogmatic that we've got a strategy that we, that we can't change and we can't flex it all. If we do need to change the strategy, um, then the key there really is about communication. Um, it's about making sure that the right people understand what we're changing with the strategy, and why we're changing, what the impact of that is, and what it means to them. The last thing we want is you know, some people in the business working on strategy A, while everybody else is still st stuck on strategy B or strategy C because then you've lost that cohesion and you're going to run into all sorts of problems. Well, we're here. I think that's, that's the, clear, you know, the clearest benefit of all is that you know, we're here, both in terms of being here in Medius, which is you know, a fantastic new environment. Um, you know, we've been in here for just approaching a year now and it's a significant step up from, from where we've been in the past. So as a as a real tangible example of, of success, then you know, this building is success. I think another tangible measure is the fact that you know, we've had a strategy of continuing to invest in you know, people, in our processes, in our infrastructure throughout the recession. And that's been a very clear strategic aim. The strategy has been batten down the hatches, but put your foot on the accelerator. You know, so we're conscious of cost, you know, we're conscious of you know, the fact that the market isn't as certain as it was in the past, but we're also conscious of the fact that if we want to grow the business, which is very much our strategic intent, then we need to continue to invest and continue to make the, you know, the choices that we have been making. Scottish Enterprise have been very helpful to us, um, and they're certainly you know, part of the success story that's seen us you know, you know, move, to, move here to Medius and, and in some ways change our are thinking about how we how we approach the business in, in terms of just 
you know, giving us some guidance about how to view things differently, you know, how, to, how to look at you know, the strategy and maybe you know, see things in that that we, that we haven't seen before. So, yeah, there's been some, there's been some very kind of practical uh, support from Scottish Enterprise. We've also had access to um, some fairly inspirational um, business leaders, um, which has really been you know, eye-opening in terms of understanding how you know, some, some really, really successful um, business people, people that have made real change in their industry, how they've gone about achieving that and really what they've got to say about, about strategy. And that's, that's really important in terms of generating ideas, but also you know, it's just incredibly inspirational and, and motivational as well to kind of understand that you know, a good strategy can have a major effect on business.